to introduce yourself and the title of the poster. Yeah, uh, my name is James Ellis. I'm from the University of Pittsburgh. And uh, today I'm presenting in vivo imaging of acute and chronic neuronal calcium during electrode implantation, injury and recovery. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, I saw this on LinkedIn. You know, I saw the video, and it's, it's quite impressive. Uh, and and I don't think the uh, the videos or the the poster does it justice. Maybe the, the way it's spreading and everything like this. Or do you want do you want to talk a little bit about this and uh, the poster? Yeah, definitely. Um, so in um, neural implants and um, longitudinal brain computer interfaces, one of the biggest challenges is longevity of the devices. It's long been explored and characterized that device performance declines over time. And actually one of the biggest reasons why we think is that uh, neurons are dying. Um, and one of the biggest drops in neurons is during implantation. So that trauma really kills a lot of neurons. Um, so what we're trying to define here is what is exactly killing these neurons during implantation. And hopefully that will lead us to new solutions about how we can prevent that neural death. Yeah, and uh, how did you find, or what did you find actually uh do, do the neurons die upon implantation? Well, what we see is that uh, as their calcium activity drastically increases during implantation, um, and especially when you look at the neurites, you'll see elevated calcium for at least 27 minutes after implant. Um, meanwhile, you know, calcium transients, at least under these uh, G-camp animals, should last for under a second. So you're looking at prolonged uh, calcium exposure for hundreds of folds times greater than, than is uh, natural activity. Um, this calcium exposure can be very dangerous to these cells. It activates all sorts of uh, kinases and proteases that can lead to cell death. So, in essence, you're kind of seeing uh, the writhing of, of death. You know, something it might not be exactly death, but it, it's maybe closer linked. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I think one of the other things that we're seeing that, uh, you know, hasn't really been explored a whole lot is um, if you look at not necessarily cell death, but you're looking at... Um, uh, deterioration of neurites around these neuro around the implants, and uh, it, it's very apparent even by three hours after implant. So even if these cells aren't dead, you'll still see that maybe their connections are changing, and this can lead to you know perhaps a lot of different uh, changes in what these neurons are saying functionally. So it's probably not very good news for for neural implants because as soon as you implant it, uh, I mean there's no way around it. So so basically the act of implanting it causes huge amounts of damage. I think that there's always going to be an element of damage. Um, it's a traumatic process. But actually, I think this is really optimistic. You know, um, this was happening no matter what. But now that we have implicated calcium in a lot of this damage, um, there's actually a lot of therapeutics that we can pursue to maybe change this narrative. Okay. Cool. And uh, what are some next steps? Um, so we want to look at this in the context of different types of implants, different types of insertion, see, you know, are, are different implants creating uh, different degrees of damage? Um, and the other thing is that we can start to probe some of those therapeutics, um, looking at intervening in this calcium influx and see if we can really change that, uh, change the longevity of these devices. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you.